Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we are taking out a video to kind of highlight that Stacey too got a new song with her, you know, their song Bubble. I do hope that they do well and I'm kind of glad that they came back. It has been quite a while, but let's jump into this reading, which is a girlfriend reading, which I have not done in so, so long. And in this re video, we're going to figure out what type of girlfriend uh, Seon is. Yeah, I hope I say her name right. <laughs> It's so similar to Xi'an's name that I find it kind of challenging. Anyway, let's jump to her reading and figure out what type of girlfriend Seon will be. So the general energy for her is a dolphin. So she is the type of girlfriend that follows her heart because we have water element. And with this dolphin, it shows that she's very smart, very intelligent, also very charming and someone that likes to have fun. So she likes to joke around. She likes to laugh. She wants to have a good time with whoever she's with. She wants to make sure that they're also having a good time and that everything's lighthearted and fun. So she might be someone that will either joke around a lot or will laugh a lot to other people's jokes or if someone is kind of like doing something funny she will play along with them to continue with the light um hearted atmosphere in the room this dolphin kind of shows that she is someone that takes partnerships very very seriously and she is someone that likes to surround herself by people that are generally optimistic and i want to say confident but in a stable type of way and not necessarily like in a cocky type of way so she wants to be with people that are confident because they have a very stable personality as well as life situation or i guess approach to life rather than being with people that are confident in the sense of trying to like hype themselves up i i hope i was able to describe that clearly but let's look at her other cards so we have wholeness with this black mulberry, which is also a water element. This is Aquarius energy. So she is someone that is actually very unique. She has a, she's very witty and she has a unique sense of humor. Or she tends to surround herself by people that others think are weird or strange. Or she may have some quirks that she hopes she could find someone that will be either okay with or that will not... You know, okay that will not judge her looks or will not use her looks as a way to put her in this box that will kind of okay so let's say that she has like these quirks of like either she's very funny or she has a strange sense of humor when you put that in accordance to the way that she looks <laughs> i don't know i guess the best way i can describe this is like you know she's uh very beautiful so people go like oh she must be like x y and c and then when they meet her it doesn't really fit those standards or that bots that she has been put in just because of her looks and then when people get to meet her they go like oh she's like a completely different person from what i expected which could be a wonderful surprise for some people and for others it could be like oh she's totally not my type i feel deceived even though she didn't do anything to deceive them she's just been herself you know other people's way of you know other people's judgment was the, the reason why they were perceived you know they play themselves <laughs> that kind of thing and i'm saying that because we also have the eight of swords reverse so this kind of shows that um she is an individual or she will be the type of girlfriend that likes to be herself and she feels very confident with who she is and she wants to find someone that doesn't have any insecurities that will just naturally reflect on her so let's say someone wants a beautiful person because they themselves don't feel beautiful but they feel like they deserve the world right so someone that is kind of oh i don't have the word for this there must be a word to describe someone like that right that they have an insecurity and they aim <laughs> sorry for saying this they aim way out of their league so i do feel that she may attract a lot of people that way and she doesn't want that she's a type of girlfriend that will prefer someone that has a very stable personality and 
of course we all have our insecurities so i think she just wants someone that will just not project their problems on her so uh, there's a high chance that since she's so confident with who she is and as a person she doesn't mind being seen as strange or weird or whatever um if anything she might actually enjoy going against the status quo so she may be seen as a bit of a rebel sometimes in accordance to how people usually perceive her or whatever expectations they put on her so she is the type of person that is very free on just being herself and because of that she will appreciate to be with someone that will not be bothered by that now the other card that we have right here is love we have tomato with love which is also a water element and here we have libra energy and underneath that card we have the king of cups reverse again as i mentioned earlier she is someone that's actually okay no i didn't mention this but she's someone that's actually very transparent and communication to her is essential because we have aquarius and libra energy which are both air signs so to her balance harmony and communication are essential for a relationship to work and she will work to make sure that her ideas get across thoroughly and that she's able she's a very good listener so she's able to have good in and like good discussions and in-depth conversations with whoever she's with but this kind of cups reverse kind of shows that she is someone that as i mentioned earlier that takes her relationships very seriously and yeah i do mean that in the romantic way but i also mean this in friendships and family she is which i mean feel free to check out her individual reading which i have done because I have a feeling that maybe I have talked about this before, but I'm just not 100% sure. I, I don't remember. It's been a very long time since her individual reading, since I did that. But anyway, so again, with this King of Cups reverse and this love card, it kind of shows that she's someone that doesn't like just give her heart away. She is someone that has standards, so she's going to go with someone that will take care of her heart, will protect her, will respect her, and of course love her. And she is someone that is extremely loyal, so she wants an individual that can do that, that that can do the same for her and also this tomatoes kind of feel like a little couple and a little baby tomato so maybe she wants a family so she may uh be aiming for a family orientated individual because she herself may want to have a family in the near future and what i mean the near future is that she may she's not she doesn't feel pressured by society to have kids and she does want to have kids but again she has standards so she's not going to just go with the first person uh, to have a family with but she definitely wants to it is it is in her goals it is in her bucket list to have family i'm saying that because some people don't really think about that so they just kind of do it because it's like the natural next step isn't it <laughs> anyway so the next card that we have is chili with stimulation this is a fires fire element and then we have aries on top with the card to clarifier as the nine of pentacles reversed she is someone she is a girlfriend that will be okay with being with someone that maybe doesn't have their whole life figured out however she wants an individual that is actively working for their uh, financial independence for their uh, career to succeed like she wants someone that is actively she has a lot of energy so she will be the type of, of a girlfriend that will kind of be the best cheerleader for someone <laughs> I was thinking of someone that does business or someone that is working on their own business. Um, saying that in the sense of like someone that has to manage a lot of things for their career to work. So I don't think she's going to end up with someone that has a job and is like a nine to five job or whatever. No, she's going to end up she's going to end up with someone that man that has to put a lot of organization and has to manage themselves a lot in order for their job to go through so either an independent um employee what what, what there's a there's a word for it and my brain just lost it but someone that works independently or someone that is a uh, it has their own business so they have to manage a lot of things and organize things or someone that has to um, work on a lot of projects so maybe a manager of sorts um but i don't it's yes someone that has a job of like a manager but has the power of a ceo so i do feel that it could be someone that is building their own business now i'm saying that because she's the type of girlfriend that will motivate and 
cheer a lot whoever she's with in order for the dreams to come through but i do feel that she's such an independent person that she's going to end up with someone that has that same independence in their career as well so she is okay with being, being with someone that is like barely like building that independence and is barely working on that um however i do feel that she's the type of person that puts a lot of weight in people's actions rather than their words so and also the like the vibes that she gets from people like she's extremely intuitive with all the water energy that we have right here so she wants to be with someone that has that she can trust like their words and their actions like okay no their actions speak louder than their words so if this person says like you know right now i'm working on my business or right now i'm working on my financial independence and she's like oh okay i can see that right like i can see this person working hard on on what they said right so there might be a chance that she may have encountered a lot of people in the past that were all talk <laughs> you know that what is it called all bark and no bite that might be a spanish saying um but uh you know people that kind of just say things but they don't do anything so maybe that's why she's kind of saying like i want someone that will take action someone that is actively working for their dreams to come through so this aries energy is kind of like she will do her best to motivate them but also at the same time she wants someone that sees no impossible in the world and it's like i'm just gonna work hard to make my dreams come true i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and just get it done the last card that well the last cards that we have right here is p with communication which is an earth element and on top we have pisces energy and underneath this card we have the two of cups so as i mentioned earlier this is the, the third time i mentioned this she is someone that is extremely loyal and she wants someone that will be like a soulmate to her that will be like her other half now what is it called interdependence I think that's what it's called when you have two people are very independent but they're working together so two holes put together rather than a half so she wants someone that will understand her in a very intuitive level someone that un understands her in an emotional level in a spiritual level did i say that already um but anyway someone that will understand her very well someone that will communicate with her very well someone that of course will love her and take care of her and she will do the same for them so that's why she wants someone that that's why she has very high standards she will give the world to this person therefore she's looking for someone that will do the same for her she wants a very balanced relationship here again she is someone that is not afraid of being herself and she has a lot of freedom like she is free from prejudice in the sense of like whatever expectations people have on her she goes like i don't care i'm gonna be myself and do my own thing um now let me continue also we have communication here with that earth sign so i think she wants someone that feels like it's part of her soul family because the peas may i also, <laughs> okay i feel like you know how in our physical world we have our blood related family or like we have our i've <laughs> our nuclear family right so like our parents and siblings that's our nuclear family and then you have the extended family right so i see soul family that term the equivalent as extended family and i think uh i always to distinguish that between like just the network and, and the group that you are the closest with in the soul family like level i see the nuclear family the equivalent as a soul pod that's usually how I I say that. So seeing this piece right here with communication, I do feel that she's aiming to be with someone that has a similar life purpose to her or life mission or someone that understands her in a level that cannot be imagined by anybody else. So she's aiming for a soulmate that is beyond what could be understood in the physical level. So don't be surprised if she meets someone and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I'm married to this person <laughs> because it's just going to feel right for her. Someone that can center her, someone that can be both stable on their own and with her and create a fruitful relationship with and with that Pisces energy, someone that she's in so intuitively connected to, like it's insane. Um, But yeah, to summarize her well not summarize but one last thing i wanted to say is that she has a lot of masculine energy um right here with this four cards but it's really well balanced with the feminine energy right here because um fire and 
air are masculine is masculine energy and then water and earth is feminine energy so she has a very good balance between being perceptive and kind of like observing her surroundings and also her ability to just take action and be on the forefront to make her dreams come true so if that's the case she wants someone like that as well someone that is able to kind of weight their options but also just takes action in making their dreams come true but with all of that said i hope you guys like this reading i hope you guys enjoyed it this reading was actually very good like i like somebody else had this too i think it was xian's reading which i mean i did mention her earlier on when i was like i, I get those names confused i hope i you know i hope i'm saying them right so the fact that i said that it's insane because right now that i'm looking at well now that we're done with this reading i realize they both have very similar approaches to their love life like they're individuals that are doing so well for themselves that they're kind of like i am in no rush to be in a relationship but when i enter one it better be good because they have high standards in a sense of like either you give me what i'm looking for or you're just not it <laughs> i'm not gonna tolerate no one's bullshit so what type of girlfriend is she someone that has zero tolerance for what it is that she's not looking for um and then and also she said no pressure to be in a relationship so right now she's just having fun with the people she loves and cares about but i do hope that she does find that person that can fulfill all of her needs her wants her desires and her standards because she will definitely give the world to them it's just a matter of time i bet so anyway i hope you guys like this reading i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give a lot of, of love and support to bubble and let's hope that they continue taking some good ass music but I'll see you on the next one, whatever that is, however that is. Love and healing from my part to you, and bye.